Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Please don't forget to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Just a few hours after the hashtag NSAS protests resumed in different parts of the country, the former media aide of former President Goodluck Jonathan, Reno Omokri, has finally decided to speak out. The NSAS protest was reported to have resumed in different parts of the country, and most especially in Lagos and Abuja, the nation's capital. Based on that note, Reno Omokri decided to speak. While speaking, he made it clear that those who are saying that another round of NSAS protests will destroy our economy are blind to reality. According to him, the nation's economy has been destroyed under this present administration. According to him, the nation's economy has been destroyed under this present administration. He went on and made it clear that today, Nigeria's economy is like that of Egypt after Moses' plague. He went on and stated that our Naira is destroyed, our security destroyed, and our freedom destroyed too. Ren Omokri says, those saying that another round of hashtag NSAS protests will destroy our economy are blind to the reality. Five years of general at Muhammad Buhari has already destroyed our economy. Today, Nigeria's Nigeria economy is like Egypt after Moses' plague. Our Naira has been destroyed. Our security destroyed. Our freedoms are all destroyed, he said. Reno Omokri has really said it all. The aim of this hashtag NSAS protest is to build a Nigeria that will be devoid of corruption and bribery. The government of Nigeria has indeed failed Nigerians and things needed to be done in order to bring back things that things the way it ought to be. The hashtag answers is as a result of Nigerians getting tired of the way and manner at which things have been going in the country. Instead of the government to address these issues and focus on the reason why the youths are protesting, the government has decided to view the hashtag protest in another perspective as a protest that is against the administration or against the government or against the president, which is not the right perspective. Everybody knows that the situation of things in the country has gone from bad to worse, if not from worse to the worst as it is. So the economy has been destroyed, bastardized. Nigeria today is the headquarters or the world headquarters of poverty in the whole world. This is unacceptable. The economy that was handed over to the president, Muhammad Buhari, in 2015 was not even close to being the worst economy in the whole world. But today, it has nosedived into the worst economy so far. Under this administration, Nigeria has witnessed two recession, and the present recession is the worst that Nigeria has ever recorded. Worst recession ever. So how did we get to this particular point in this economy or in this country? How did we get to where we are today? It is horribly sad 
and honestly unfortunate that we find ourselves in this situation. How can you hand over an economy that was booming, a GDP that was interesting to this administration, and they have turned it to the worst ever in the history of the country? It shows that the man at the helm of affairs is incapacitated or does not have the capability to handle things. It shows that the man at the helm of affairs possibly does not know anything concerning growing a nation or governing a nation. Despite the fact that he took over six months to appoint his cabinet or to form his cabinet as it were, still the country has witnessed the, a huge downturn, a huge uh, downfall of the fortunes of the country. There is no excuse tenable. So, the youth decided to protest, and the protest is for a better country. All these politicians, government officials, as it were, majority of them, their children are no longer in the country. Their children are either schooling, living outside the country in other countries where the economy are booming. So what happens? And now they don't want Nigerians or the youths of Nigeria to protest against bad governance, to protest against police brutality. This is unacceptable and should not be encouraged. So this man has destroyed the country. He has destroyed our economy. He has destroyed our freedom. He has destroyed virtually everything that means the world to us. How do we progress? How do we move to the next level? This is five years into an eight-year term. The remaining three years, only God can tell how things will eventually turn out. So this is the right time to protest or else Nigeria may just be set to witness the worst in history. This is sad and unfortunate. We must tell ourselves the truth. We cannot fold our hands and continue to watch the, how this administration and this president, you know, destroy the rest of what we are actually holding on to. It is sad and unfortunate, but the truth has to be told. The truth has to be said. I know that those who are benefiting from this government would not want the truth to be told and would not want it to be said. But regardless, we must say it. It doesn't matter whose ox is God. It has to be said. Buhari has destroyed our economy, destroyed our freedom, destroyed everything that we can call our own, that can make us proud. We cannot continue like this and the truth has to be told. It is sad and unfortunate. So, now he does not want us to protest. He does not want the youths to protest. And he does not want to leave office. If you don't have the idea, then you should step down and let somebody else who has an idea or who knows what to do take over. Look at the state of insecurity in the country. Look at the state of, you know, Killings, maiming, raping, and all what have you, kidnapping as it were, all in the country under this administration has worsened, has increased massively. Nobody is free. Nobody is truly secured in this country. It doesn't matter how you look at it. The security is porous. The security agents are also scared themselves because they too are victims of kidnaps, they are victims of being killed by bandits, insurgents, BH guys, and what have you. So, the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari under the APC is a plague that has come to kill this country. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but the, everything points to the fact that this administration has worsened the situation of things in this country even beyond how they met it. So it is what it is. The truth has to be told. It doesn't matter how anybody feels about it. When an average person in this country, in a, if an average citizen cannot have good life or enjoy two, 
three square meal a day, then something is wrong with the economy of that nation. And we all know that that is the situation of things, or even worse is the situation in Nigeria. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop it at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.